Does anybody rem remember the name of the main character? Yossarian. Yossarian. Hey, a parting gift for this guy right here. Yossarian was a fighter pilot in World War II, and all of his, uh, all of his buddies were also fighter pilots, and you notice this very disturbing trend. All of his buddies would fly into battle. One by one, they get shot down. They wouldn't come back. So he realized that if he kept on going on these bombing missions, sooner or later, he was going to be one of the guys that flew into battle and didn't come back. So he had to try to figure out a way to get out of this. So he starts studying the Air Force rules and regulations, and he comes across rule number 22. And rule number 22 says that if you can plead insanity, you can be honorably discharged from the Air Force. So what does he do? He goes up to a superior officer, and he says, you know what, I can't do this job anymore because I'm going crazy. And what does the guy say? He says, there's no way you could be going crazy because this is the perfect job for crazy people. <laughs> and the fact that you're trying to get out of it is actually proof that you're perfectly sane. <laughs> so keep on going on those bombing missions. And that's exactly what he had to do. Why do I tell this story? Um, do we still use the phrase catch 22 today? <laughs> Stuck between a rock and a hard place. Darn if you do, darn if you don't. Well, you got to remember that Anything in this bucket is a perfect modern-day example of a catch-22. Why do I say that? Well, you got to remember that the IRS wants to tax you on this money so badly that at a certain point in time, they will force you to take the money out. What age is that? 70 and a half. And what do they call it? RMDs. And what happens if you choose not to or forget to take the money out? You get what's called an excise tax, it's 50%. So let's say you were supposed to take out $10,000, chose not to, forgot to, you'll get a bill in the mail for $5,000. Does that include state and federal tax? No, throw in another 31% on top. You just lost 81% of what you're supposed to take out and didn't. Is the IRS pretty serious about getting their money? Yeah, they're very serious. So this is the rock. This is what happens if you don't take the money out. You get that 50% penalty. If that's the rock, what's the hard place? Okay, what happens if you take too much money out of these accounts? Well, you pay more and more taxes, right? But the IRS keeps track of something called provisional income. Anybody ever heard of provisional income? If you haven't heard of provisional income, don't feel bad. I gave a, a CPA conference about two months ago, and I asked the entire room of CPAs, who's heard of provisional income? How many hands do you think went up? One in the whole room, one hand. What is provisional income? Provisional income is the income the IRS keeps track of to determine if your Social Security is going to get taxed. Okay, what counts as provisional income? Any 1099s from this bucket count as provisional income. Any distributions from this bucket count as provisional income and one half of your social security. And what they do is they add it all up and if, that, if it adds up as a single person, if it adds up to more than 34,000 or if a married couple, if it adds, adds up to more than 44,000, 85% of your social security becomes taxable to you at your highest marginal tax bracket.